Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP ProBook 460G11. To see the internals, you have to undo just five captive Phillips head screws. Pry the back with a thin plastic tool, and then pop the top two edges. The next step is to work your way around the sides and the front. Our laptop is equipped with the optional 56 watt hour battery. The default variant has a 48 watt hour capacity. To remove it, detach the connector from the motherboard, press down the plastic stopper in front of the battery, and just slide it carefully to the left. The capacity is enough for around 10 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the battery saver preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the HP Recommend mode in the HP Command Center app. There is just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe here has a metal cap on top that is held in place by two screws. We found a cooling pad on the inside of the plate. The memory zone is covered with a metal shield which can be easily popped with the aid of a lever tool. According to HP, the two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Each module is additionally cooled by a thermal pad from below. The Wi-Fi card is positioned on the right of the cooling system. The cooling itself doesn't impress. It comprises one large fan, a heat pipe, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.